Coming up, we're making custom keycaps. So a few weeks ago, we were chatting with Colin and he was wondering if it was possible to 3D print custom keycaps for mechanical keyboards. So we thought, that's a pretty good project idea. So this is a mechanical keyboard with Cherry MX switches. It features a customizable layout and LED backlighting. It comes with extra keys, which is really nice, but there's a lot of cool stuff we could do by 3D printing our own. These keycaps are held by a connector piece that's in the center of the key and it just easily snaps on. We made these on the Amber DLP SLA 3D printer from Autodesk and we printed them in clear resin, which diffuses the LEDs quite nicely. Whoa. The size of each keycap is different, so it's important to take note of all the angles and curvatures, because they're kind of all different from each other. So we start by taking measurements of the keycaps using calipers. Then in CAD software, we'll draw up some simple sketches and loft between them to create the basic shape. We then applied a small fillet of 1.25 millimeters to the edges and a shell with a wall thickness of 1.25 matches up with the original keycap. To create the curvature, we subtracted an oblong cylinder from the top surface, which is just an easy way to create a slight contour. Next up, this is the really fun part because this is where you can make whatever your creativity allows. So we put together these three custom keycaps First up, a skull key with vampire teeth. This is a cool one just to test fine details. A command key with a raised symbol, so that way we can sort of feel for the key that avoids looking down. And then for fun, we made an escape key with a little Adafruit logo on top. We released the source file so you guys can download it and modify it to make whatever you want. These are rather small objects with some really fine details. So probably not going to look so well on an FDM 3D printer, so we think this is a really good job for our resin-based SLA machine. To orient the part and add support structures, we're using Mesh Mixer. We'll lay it flat on the front side, which has a decent amount of surface area, and this will make it so the layers stick to the bed. The default settings for support structures tend to generate non-manifold geometry, especially on really small parts, so we lowered the tip layer option down to 10 to 15, and this will avoid generating any weird geometries when creating supports. We'll also drop the tip diameter to 0.3 millimeters so that it's not so thick. Now when we create support material, they'll come out nice and clean. A few more here on the side of the connector should be enough for it to print properly. Once that's looking good, we'll export the STL and upload it to the printer. So how long does it take to print? We're looking at about 40 minutes to print just one key, and this is at 50 micron resolution. If you drop it down to 25, the print, actually, the print time goes up to about an hour and a half. And there really isn't much difference between the two and you end up getting similar details. Now to remove the print from the bed, we're gonna use a flat spatula and this will just help release the part from the build plate. This one just kind of popped off nicely. To remove the support material, we'll use our Haku flush snips and this will help break apart the structures. Tweezers will also help remove the little tiny bits and then we'll start from the front and sort of work our way towards the back. To cure the part, we'll pour on some alcohol over the keycap, and this will help harden the material, making sure that we get the insides as well. Then we'll pat it down with a paper towel, and we'll let it dry for about 10 minutes so that it fully cures. How about tolerance testing? Testing for tolerance is always sort of a back and forth process of adjusting thickness to get that snap fit. So it did take a few revisions before getting a solid keycap. But there you have it, custom 3D printed keycaps. We think this would be a pretty interesting accessibility project. Embossed keycaps would work really well for a braille keyboard, am I right? You can also let us know what you'd like us to build next. And if you're interested in more CAD and Slicer stuff, you can tune into our 3D printing show every Thursday. And if you haven't already, you can subscribe for more weekly videos from Adafruit. Guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everybody.